All right, so this past Friday, on September 9th, at Core Pro Wrestling, I had a match against Dan Weber, uh, who calls himself the Boogeyman, even though I don't see him eating worms, I don't see him have face pain, so I don't get the whole Boogeyman thing. But nonetheless, you know, I, I wrestled Dan, and you know, he, he's a good up and comer. You know, he, he's got some skills, he, he, he might have what it takes to be one of the best. Nonetheless, Dan, he's a great talent, but, you know, it, it took him three other guys to get the job done. When I, when I the last three shows I've been at, I, I don't need outside interference. I don't need anybody with me. You know, I, I don't have a clique. I don't have friends or, or, or guys protecting me. You know, I, I come in alone. I'm a lone wolf. But anyway, there's some other things I wanted to address, like there was an altercation near the merch table. Wait a minute, I hate humans, so why am I breaking up a fight? Thank God you were there, Johnny. The mullets, we always have each other's back. Mullet Mafia. <laughs> you know, I said I don't want friends there, but I do have someone I... I, I'm starting to take notice of him, and that's Red James. And you wouldn't think that a guy like Red James and a guy like Johnny Cove would get along, but for some reason we do. For some reason we have a mutual respect for each other, and it might just be because we got mullets, but it might just also be because we have the same mindset. So I was there in case anything happened, because you know what, Red? He's in there like me, by himself. He's got no one pulling for him in the back. He's got no one out there. So maybe he needs me. These people, they don't know good wrestling when they see But anyway, you know, Court is becoming one of the best promotions in Oklahoma, month by month, show by show. Um, look at the card from this past Friday, top to bottom, um, pretty stacked. You had Langley, Morrison, Coco, Tommy Dean, Clayton Bloodstone. You know, the little, the list goes on and on. A lot of new up and comers. There, there's so many talents coming through core that I think could compete anywhere in the country. Are you looking for a rematch against any of the members of the high table? Although I'm upset that that went against my record, I, I have no interest in Dan Weber. I have no interest in the other two the other two guys out there. I don't even know their names, to be quite honest. You know, I am interested in Tommy Dean, though, because he has that core title. You know, what I think might be the most prestigious title in Oklahoma right now. So he's definitely on the list at core that I'd like to lock up with. Um, you know, then there's a guy like Coco. Uh, I'd like to get my hands on Luke Langley again, seeing how 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 he beat me, um, you know, I wasn't prepared for it, but I think now I think it'd be a different uh, different match against Langley. But you know, there's also so many guys coming in and out of there um, that I could see myself having a great match with or even proving to everybody that I am one of the best in this state, one of the best in this area, and soon to be one of the top stars in the country. It's only a matter of time. So I've been doing this five years now, and it's time that I stop uh you know being worried uh to piss people off or kick in doors I, i'm i'm not worried about that anymore i'm gonna start you know asking for things that i deserve or you know start saying things that might piss someone off but it's the truth it's not cockiness it's confidence and if you get upset by that then i'm sorry but that's just the way it is now but you know uh coming up for me i got dunk in oklahoma in two weeks, the 24th of September, for World Class. Um, going to be a great show. Uh, then after that, in October, I'll be up in Arkansas making my debut at Crown Pro Wrestling. And then the very next day, I'll be working another World Class event in McAllister at a Comic Con. So that's going to be a fun show, uh, fun things coming up for me. And then, as of right now, the only thing I got in November is a Rocky Romero seminar that I'm really excited for. And also I want to add that I will be back at CORE the 1st of October if I haven't stated that. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully things will change. If not, I'm just going to have to start making the changes happen myself. So sorry to those in charge, but it's bound to happen.
no, 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 no,